So yesterday or the day before, Bodhi got into a fake plant and ate it. He's been fine up until tonight. He started to act real tender, not like himself. So we gave him some coconut oil, in case it was something he ate, and a gabapentin to help him sleep. Um, see if we maybe need to take him to the vet in the morning. But here's a list of things that Bodhi has eaten. Things my dog has liked to eat. These little dental sticks. Q-tips. Thing that ends up in the bathroom garbage. Every single dog blanket has holes. This Bodhi likes to eat them. He also likes to eat my wife's robe. Anything soft, I've lost a hoodie to him before as well. That is a fake plant. He ate one of these a few nights ago. This is an ashtray, but we don't smoke. But my mom does, and he's eaten plenty of stuff out of an ashtray. Razor blade? Yep. Mom left to go to the grocery store and somebody is not happy about it. Bodie. 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 <laughs> What's out there? Is mom out there? Does she go out there? <laughs> Poor guy. Leave him alone, Taco. Leave him alone. <laughs> you feeling better, Bo? <laughs> Just so sad. What's up, Ramblers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amra with the Ramblin' Richardsons. And a few nights ago, um, sitting here on this very couch, and... Uh, Bodhi just wasn't acting right, our dog. We have a miniature schnauzer. And uh, it just seemed like he wasn't himself. My wife noticed it and I came in here. He was shaking. He seemed like he was in pain. So we gave him some gabapentin that we had left over from Eddie. And if you want to know about Eddie, you can go up into the link. I'll put right up there. But anyways... We gave him some coconut oil and some gabapentin because he had eaten recently a fake plant that we had in the house and thought maybe he was having some tummy issues because of that. Um, he seemed fine the next day. We waited it out and he seemed okay, but he's still acting a little funny and uh, went to inspect his mouth because he's licking a whole lot. And uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just show you the video here. When I was touching up here, he was whining. Like, try to touch the bottom. He has an infected Oh, too. yeah. Do you hear him he whine? Let me see. Too. Yeah, which one? His name. Oh, yeah. Poor guy. Okay. It's his tooth, honey. Yeah. So, as you can see, something's going on with Bodhi's mouth. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, um, but we're probably going to need to take him to the vet, have it take a look out. Maybe it's his other canine on top. He did have one ripped out, got into a fight with another dog through a fence, got one of his canines ripped out. He had some issues there, so we'll take him back to the vet and uh, see what's going on. But for now, he's okay. There he is right there, resting peacefully. Bodie, hey. Are you alive? He's fine. He's just being an old man. Well, a quick update on Bodie. I think he just came in here to the office, actually. Bodie, is that you? 
Oh, it's Taco. Hey, buddy. Taco. Um, but a quick update on Bodie. We did take him to the vet. We took Taco as well. They both needed to get updated on their shots. And we had the vet look at Bo. Um, he did recommend a cleaning and possible pulling that tooth, um, which is something that we're going to look into. Um, in February, they are actually doing a discount on teeth cleaning and stuff like that for your animals. So we're going to take another look at Bodie's tooth, but it looks like it probably needs to get pulled. It's pretty gross looking. Um, but I didn't film at the vet because two dogs and a baby, there's a lot to handle. Uh, but Bodie's doing fine. We are just watching what's going on. The vet did not recommend antibiotics as it would just be a band-aid and we want to really get him taken care of. So Bodie will most likely be going back to the vet to get his tooth pulled and when that happens, we'll let you guys know. But we'll go ahead and wrap this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, life is about the journey, not the destination. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Okay, so this is Marshmallow P Are you recording right now? Great. So this is Marshmallow Puff. You made Marshmallow Puff, is that right, honey? Okay, and then dip the strawberry in it. And this is our first attempt. Yeah. Did you make one for yourself and taste it already? And what did you think? What do you think? It took you a while to answer. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's good. Lord, okay, let's try it out. You know what to say? It's like those um, strawberry shortcake ice cream things. I like the strawberry and vanilla ice cream and then dipped in the breading. Mm, that's what it tastes like. Mm. Mm, it was very good though. It was very sweet. Mm. How many of these do you have? They're already done. More, please. <laughs>